sucks because I've never left my car in a shop ever. I have not once. Oh, I did leave it at my dealership for, for a day, but that's literally a day. That's I come to work the next day, so it's not really leaving it there. It's like it's there waiting for me. But I am going to be dropping off the car at Speedline for about a good week, maybe a week and a half till he's done fixing the car. We're going to do some slight modifications, something serious to the engine, um, and then as well as fixing the head gasket, of course. And we're going to be going over the cost and the repair and all that good stuff. So I'll catch you guys in a bit as soon as we get to speed line. We got Lucy right over there and his uh, slow two valve. But yeah guys, see you guys in a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright guys, so we're actually doing the car here. Here at speed line. It's gonna suck because it's gonna be gone for a good week, week and a half. But at least we know the car's gonna be fixed, it's in good hands. I trust speed line, they're gonna do really good work on it. And yeah, guys, so we'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna be leaving it here. I'll be taking the two valve. Um, well, Lucy's gonna be driving the two valve and giving me a ride back home. Look at this cute ass right there. But at least the car's gonna be fixed, guys. That's the old one turn on. Oh, shit. He's gonna be putting my car and actually in that spot right over there, so he's just gonna move those cars out of the way. Lucio's over there. There she goes, guys, to her new home for a good week and a half. Look how needy those tires are. It's gonna suck, but I know my car's gonna be back stronger than ever, so I won't have to worry about anything. I know Speedline's gonna take care, real good care of my car. He's gonna try his best to get it done as fast as possible too. Yeah guys, this is gonna be your home for a good week and a half. <laughs> well guys, I guess this is our final goodbye for a week and a half. That's gonna suck. Oh, at least she has some comfortable roomies. Two Cobras, Ford Lightning, C5, and a Z01 right next to it too as well. Alright guys, so here are the upgrades that I'm doing. It's actually a few days from the previous clip that you guys actually seen. These actually just came in yesterday. I was actually going to drop them off today, but I was running really late with work and all that good stuff. But... I did get the ARP head studs and all that good stuff to hold hold the the gaskets a lot better and hopefully so just in this alone we have about three hundred and eighty dollars guys um, with labor and everything we were looking around twenty five to maybe three thousand um, I mean, dollars I mean twenty five hundred to three thousand that's gonna be with labor parts and all that good stuff um, and then with these being installed the thing about having these upgraded uh, studs guys is that the stock the stock ones do tend to stretch under boost I believe when you go over 15 uh, PSI boost and I'm running about 17 so it was definitely over the limit and that's probably what gave out the head gasket in the first place so I'm definitely upgrading to the ARP ones these should hold the head gasket in place a lot better and also the NGKs definitely a lot better than the brisk ones and we should have a lot more information about the car when it might be actually done I'm hoping for next Wednesday um, but yeah, we'll be seeing the car tomorrow all torn apart, which is going to suck to see, but I just know the car is going to be back stronger than ever. And that should be a really good video for the next upload. I'm trying to upload a lot more frequently for you guys, that way you guys have some content to see. But I hope you guys like and enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.